guys check this out so this is angel woman from digimon of course and i resin printed this can you believe that so yeah resin printing is starting to look good now and i'm very happy with it i might be selling this one i got the wings that are printing off right now if anyone wants this do get in touch with me happy to ship it worldwide and look at all that detail It's incredible, I can't wait for the wings, the wings are going to be amazing. So the wings would go at the back here. And the little uh, headpiece you see here, the other one snapped off, but I'll glue it back on. So yeah, if you guys want this, do message me, happy to ship it worldwide. Got the bottom four wings printed. Two more are printing on the go. Guys, would you look at that? Look how incredible this looks. Printed on my Anycubic. Photon M3 Max Standard resin grey Standard grey resin And this is 150% scale I think I'm going to do another one Maybe at 190% scale I want a bigger one And I might sell this one because This was like a test print And <laughs> as a test print This isn't freaking bad Look at that Look at the wings Detail is insane, look at that. I'm so happy. It's so satisfying just to print like that. I'm over the moon. So I just want to show every part off because this is just insane how much detail there is in there. So I'm printing this, but at 190 scale. So um, this was printed at 150 scale. This is 190. But yeah, just black resin. Fuck, it looks so good. Quite curious how this will turn out. So at the moment, it's 66% done. Only got around uh, 10 hours left. satisfying to watch mm. it's cool you can actually hear mm. the bottom of this bat the FEP sheet the sticking listen when it lifts yeah, very quiet mm. it's because the pump is working that's why you might not be able to hear it A lot, a lot of support. So I'm gonna measure how much uh, milligrams slash grams it came up to.
Okay, so this looks a bit weird. Maybe it's because I'm using different resin and different curing times. Might be that. Or because not enough supports, maybe? Hmm. Maybe thicker supports needed. More support. No, there is. Like more than enough, I think, support. Maybe that got pulled by the FEP shit as it was printing. Maybe that. Hopefully it printed correctly. We've got loads of resin there left over still. Let's see what will happen. I'm gonna take them off. And before I actually remove the sports. So I just gave all the wings a clean. There are still a few supports that I need to get into using pliers, but now I'm gonna leave it to dry overnight. So I'm gonna take these out and put it on some um, towel maybe, and out of here so I can clean the bath a little bit. So I'll leave this to dry. Because if I run this underwater, it goes a bit misty and grey for blacks. So I want to just leave it out to dry because so the blacks remain black. So we've got the bottom base that I remodeled slightly because the original base is freaking small so you budge the statue a little bit and it will just tip over so I thought that was a very stupid idea to design it like that. So I remodeled that so the bottom now is huge look at that so you see the size of that. Can you believe I, I could print this in one piece on this printer that's mad. I don't think many people print like that huge prints and that is clean. I can't believe I clean that as many can, can I hold a phone like this? Do I have any resin on my fingers? Let's try it. There we go. Look at that. That is insane how clean that is. Oh my god. And that was the first shot, so like uh, I supported this myself. 
So the bottom base I modelled. Uh, well, I didn't really model, I just reused the assets basically that this file came with. So yeah, this is looking good. I'm very excited to see how this is going to turn out. And remember, this is 190% scale, so it's larger than it comes out. So before I actually start removing the prints from that, I want to remove this new print. So let's just undo this. And I'm going to weigh them as usual. So, yes, that's very clean. Oh my god, that's so clean. Look at that sparkle. So this is ABS-like resin, and that is insanely clean. I'm actually shocked how clean that is. So, yeah, there's probably... Uh, so I've got loads of holes in the back here, because that's where it's going to glue uh, down to the base. So I need to get rid of any excess drip, maybe. If I can, which I don't think I can. Anyway, let's just weigh this up and then I'll minus the bed. So this weighs at 3244. Four. So, and um, so let's just remove this. And then I want to weigh the other one. And then we'll have to clean up all the threads of the post. One thing that uh, I'm having trouble with is uh, all the dirt, all the resin leaks on the floor. I actually got to remove this because this is a uh, print that's got nothing to do with Angel Woman. That's one out. So let's weigh this up. See how much it weighs. Oh shit. Let me just wait like that. And this weighs 3767. But that's probably got some excess resin in the holes here, so how do I get I don't know how So how would I do that? So I'm, I'm very sure there's probably resin in where the holes were, but I don't know if I can get it out of pocket, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. So the weight was 3769. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to remove the supports as they are. I think so we can just basically start. I'm gonna Lay down some more kitchen roll, even though I already made some peaks. Try to reduce it a little bit. Leakage. Because what I'm doing here is support removal. So let's try this. I can't believe how nicely this prints. The first shot, like, um, Obviously, so I know the basics of removing support, uh, I mean, uh, supporting resin prints now. So, how do I do this? I can't believe how nicely this turned out. I really want to make sure, make sure this is filmed nicely as well. Maybe go on to main camera instead of the wide one. I can't.
Okay, so we have the large ring printed, and it looks flawless from the outside, but let's have a look. So I've got another actual print in here as well, and uh, I've been learning a different uh, technique for supporting, because I have to manually support this, and this looks freaking flawless. So. Let's have a look. So I'm using multiple uh, auto generation for support. So I support heavies first at the base and islands at around 10 degrees. I do auto support and then I do another set of auto supports but at, oh, uh, previously, so when I did 10 degrees, I set the contact tip to 0.65 I think and then I do another auto support at 50 degrees at contact tip 0.48 so this looks amazing let's hope there's no pitting this time because the previous model had quite a bit of pitting but hopefully this one won't so let's see Enough of that, let's try to get it off. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna give it a quick way. So, what we got here? What we got here? It is 2988. So, I will deduct that from uh, what the plate is. But before I start removing it, I'm gonna put this on the back, on the printer, so that any flying supports don't damage the printer. Oh, this is nice, like the way it's uh, holding this stuff. Like, it's nice, but removes quite nicely as well. So the heavy supports are here. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, this is heavier. So this time I use Cheetah Box. Uh, I'm back and forth between Leechia Slicer and Cheetah Box. Because Leechia Slicer doesn't seem to honor angle settings for overhangs. So like how am I supposed to do auto supports if I want to set the angle for my auto supports? Like it really wants you to just do manual supports, which I don't like. I, I want to do auto. I think this one is going to be nice. Let's hope the front won't have much pitting. can see a bit better maybe. So this is precisely the reason why I'm gonna make this different container because so this is the biggest container that I could find for IPA which is around uh, it says eight liters eight to, well you could fill it up to ten liters I think uh, but basically that printer over there is 30 wide 30 high and 16 centimeters deep and this clearly can't handle it because look this is not fitting all the way in uh, so this was printed as one piece on that printer, so, and I cannot submerge that, so I just have to rotate it. I mean, uh, it's not a big deal, but hey, why not, huh?
I think this is a suction issue, like a suction cup, because although it was hollow on the inside, the only holes I dug out was at the top. So I should have maybe hold, made some more holes on the other internal sides, maybe. Let's see if this prints anyway and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've got the second ring printed. I had a little issue bit it, issue here. It detached here, maybe because of suction or something like that. The left side is pretty good, but this side detached. Maybe I needed more heavy supports. I think, yeah. So yeah, this side. I'll add more supports just for my project file. And let's have a measure. This one weighs two nine two zero. So although this print, this huge piece is pretty good, there is a, a bit of pitting in like these areas. And to be honest, I don't want to reprint this one because it's like a huge print. This is like at least a thing, like a bottle of resin. So and um, the reason, not for the pitting, but you can see it's kind of bowed on the inside. This is because I printed it as zero, uh, it, one millimeter thick shell. And one millimeter is, I think, too fine. I needed it at least like two or three millimeters thick, so it wouldn't bow. I'm gonna correct this using a heat gun and just uh, and just pushing it inside or out on the out. I'm gonna push it out basically, and then I'm gonna use JB Weld uh, to insert a few metal steel plates here, just to give it extra weight and um, just to fixate it in place because I need to repair one of the wings as well as, as I don't want to just reprint this one. I already readjusted my uh, printing project, but I, I just don't want to waste this. I just, uh, this is an easy fix. Just a little bit of resin in there and then Dremel shape it. Just a little bit of work. Okay, so I managed to pretty much straighten out the bottom using the heat gun. Actually, it's very, very flexible when you heat it up. So I wonder what kind of temperatures it can actually withstand, like compared to PETG or PLA with FDM printing. So yeah, if you look at it from the side profile, it's pretty straight. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put a JB Weld at the bottom of this all around and then shove these metal steel plates because they're heavy and I want a heavy base. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so we have this moment so now I'm gonna shove in the kind of uh, like fractured uh, that uh, a steel block that has been cut so it can have that in the middle then have a larger one at the very background at the very front or back whatever <laughs> actually I decided to have the block that's been cut at the very bottom because when I flip it upside down I can't have uh, the full uncut ones at the very bottom because they would uh, not sit flat with the bottom whilst this bottom one whilst this cut one would so now I'm gonna flip it over it's freaking heavy yeah flipping it over didn't really do any good because it caused all these weights to drop because they're so heavy so I think once this is cured I could do maybe just pour some kind of uh, resin I don't know I, don't, I haven't really looked into like uh, filling like really cheap fillers because I just use JB Weld because it's so strong and it's so good but obviously it would be inefficient to use JB Weld to fill all that because that's quite a huge surface area so I'll look into it but I'll leave this to cure 